Hey guys, I'm going to help you with Lesson 31's homework. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. They show um, adding these fractions with mixed numbers in a lot of different ways, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways how to work it, and you can choose the one that works best for you. So let's start with number one. We have two and one thirds plus one and two thirds. So first I'm going to combine the whole numbers to get three and the fractions to get three thirds. Well, three thirds is the same thing as one, so three plus three thirds is just gonna be four. Let's try it again. So I'm gonna add my two whole numbers first, two plus two, give me four. I'll show you in another color. I'm gonna add two fifths and two fifths to give me four fifths. So my answer is four and four fifths. Let's try it again on this last one, or on C for number one. Gonna zoom back in. We have 3 and 3 eighths plus 1 and 5 eighths, so 3 plus 1 is 4, and 3 eighths plus 5 eighths is going to be 8 eighths. Well, 4 and 8 eighths, 8 eighths is the same thing as a whole, so 4 plus a whole will just give you the whole number of 5. Okay, let's move on to the second part. Now here it says you have to use a number line to show your work. I'm not going to make you do that. If your teacher does, please draw one, but I'm going to cross that out. And let's solve this first one. It says 2 and 2 fourths plus 1 and 3 fourths. So they combine the whole numbers and the fractions, and they got 3 plus 5 fourths. And now they broke up the 5 fourths into 4 fourths and 1 fourth. So the 3 and the 4 fourths make a whole, and then you have the 1 fourth left over. So your answer is 4 and 1 fourth. Let's try that down here. I'm going to combine my 3 and my 2 to get a 5. I'm going to combine my 4, 6, and my 5, 6 to get 9, 6. Well, we can't leave it like that, so we're going to break up our 9, 6 into 6, 6 and 3, 6, because 6, 6 is a whole. And I'm going to combine that 6, 6, which is a whole, with my 5 right here to get a total of 6 holes, and then we have 3, 6 left over. So it'll be 6 and 3, 6. Okay, C says um, 1 and 9 twelfths plus 1 and 7 twelfths. The 1 and the 1 will give you 2, and the 9 twelfths and 7 twelfths will give you uh, 16 twelfths. So I'm going to break up that 16 twelfths. I'm running out of space, but I'll put 12 twelfths, which is the same as the whole. And then 4 twelfths would be left over. So the 2 and the 12 twelfths will give you 3, and then we'll have 3 and 4 twelfths. All right, let's go to the next one. And again, this is asking you to use a way that you may or may not have been shown. Oops. With the arrows, you don't have to do all that mess. Just pick a way that makes sense to you as long as you're adding them up. So um, here, we're just going to cross out that arrow method. And we're going to cross out that whole first one. We're not going to worry about it. And we're going to go ahead and cross out C and A of 4 because those are denominators we're not supposed to work with. Okay, so let's do B. 2 and 7 eighths plus 3 and 4 eighths. So I'm going to combine my whole numbers first. 2 and 3 will give me 5. And then 7 eighths plus 4 eighths will actually end up giving me 11 eighths. So my answer is 5 and 11 eighths, but that 11 eighths is a fraction greater than 1, so we're going to change it. 11 eighths can be broken down into 8 eighths and 3 eighths. Well that 8 eighths is the same thing as a whole and I'm going to combine it with the 5 to get 6 holes and what's left over is 3 eighths so it'll be 6 and 3 eighths. Okay let's do the last two. Actually C is one we don't need to do so we have one more. Alright we have 3 and 8 tenths plus 1 and 5 tenths. Again let's combine our whole numbers. 3 and 1 will give you 4 and then 8 tenths and 5 tenths will give you 13 tenths. And we got to break up that 13 tenths into 10 tenths and 3 tenths. And that 10 tenths will combine with your 4 to give you a total of 5 holes. And what's left over is the 3 tenths. Alright, if you have questions, let me know.